on City Line. It's Fashion Friday, and we're talking dynamic denim. Universal fabric. Universal. Color makes sense. Yes. The fabric makes sense. Yeah. Jeans aren't just a casual vibe anymore. We've learned to be comfortable. Now we have to be comfortably elegant. Then Miles Sexton shares their early jewelry influences. You know, I've always loved statement jewelry. It's something yes. I took from my mom, you know, when I got into fashion. And later, skincare so good, you won't want to get dressed. I used this, I felt so invigorated. Yeah. I didn't want to put clothes on. It's City Line with Tracy Moore. so many people today. Okay, so who's excited that it's Friday? <laughs> right? We made it. Welcome to City Line. So it's our favorite day of the week. It is Fashion Friday. First up, we all have those go-to jeans, the ones we reach for time and again. We got to shake it up a little, everybody, okay? We're going to shake up your denim routine to bring some fresh style into your life. Here to show us the must-try denim for the season, Lynn Spence. <laughs> So good to see you always. Thank you. I love that you did a skirt. So Denim, you. you know, we can talk about trends <clears throat> all we want because there's always going to be a different denim trend that's yeah. on point. Denim is never out of style though. Universal fabric. Universal. The, co the color makes sense. The yes. fabric makes sense. Yeah. So I wanted to show our audience uh, here and there. Uh -huh. How many ways we can wear it, mm -hmm. and it's not just about jeans anymore. That's right. It's all kinds of different things. It's all the things you can even get denim shoes, oh, right? It's yes. like very 2003, but Indeed. it's being done for today. So let's see our first look. Lori, come on out. Let's see our first denim look of the show, and we've got a dress going on here. Huh. Yeah. So. <laughs> Joe Fresh did a very clever little grouping, and yeah. I thought the dress was amazing because it actually has a fitted waist, so it almost looks as if it's a shirt tucked into a skirt. Right. So I wanted to show it open, and underneath that oh, are her little shorts. Oh, excuse me, Lori. I love it. That's very cute, right? Oh, yeah. Yes. I love that. A little jort. Jean short. A little jort. <laughs> a little jort. <laughs> but that's very kind of Palm Beach, like it's just, you know, 60s. Cute. That's the way that I dressed. I loved it. Yeah. And so I think what's kind of fun is that now we do it in a fabric that's really accessible and comfortable. Yes. And I love the fact that you can do a little tee underneath it so that she could open this all up. Mm -hmm. And this could be just a coat. It's if a you wanted to. It's, it's a, a topper. tunic. It's a tunic, it's yeah. a dress, it can be closed. Mm -hmm. She can wear it with a little heel sandal. Yep. She can dress it up with a different kind of a bag. I, I love this, like I love the denim on the denim. Me too. So all you really get is the chain. And then we thought the pearls were really just fun. I agree. You know, like mix it up a little, juxtapose that sort of casual That's with a beautiful style. moment. That's your personal style. That's your style. personal style. Exactly. Very nice head to toe. Thanks, Lori. Always a pleasure. So good. Okay, next, let's bring in Jen with our next look. Come on out, Jen. Nice. It's so pretty. Very pretty. So yes. it's all working together. There yes. is a lot going on, so but this it's, is, it's lovely. There is a lot going on, but yeah. it's winners. And you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna find stuff, there's designer, yes. and then there are more practical pieces, yeah. and then there's a lot of feminine elements that one can add to it. Mm -hmm. So of course, this jacket is very different because there's an awful lot of embroidery on it and some little stars, and and it's just very sort of you know mixed media, very yeah. very cool. I decided that I would do it with a feminine blouse underneath mm -hmm. and then a little carpenter dream, uh, a carpenter jean underneath. Yeah. Again, what do we look for? We look for stretch. Yes. It doesn't matter what jean we go with, if we can get some stretch, both for men and women now, yes. it's really ideal. It's, it, to me, it's a must. Like, it, these suckers are being pulled up, and I need them to, like, fit the body, fit the body and be comfortable. And also stiff sitting. jeans, too, and I can't sit in them. Those salvage denim. I need denim. squat jeans. Yes. The right? fact that you can yes. do that. Yes. Whoa. This is a must. 
Yeah. It's a must. I gotta be able to move. Woo! Yeah. I'm impressed. Oh, thanks, I'm Lynn. so impressed. Now you do it. Just joking. <laughs> She's in a skirt. It's not going to happen. Sakes. And then you do, and then you do a little sweet bag with it. Yeah. You don't have to do the whole thing in denim, so it is quite, quite busy. Yeah. Do a little necklace with it. Do a little sort of a bright shoe because the blouse can direct you as to how you're going to accessorize Very pretty. rather than the denim. Okay, so if you've noticed, there's a roundness to the sleeve and the jacket and yeah. the body in itself, and we're looking at denim now with rounder legs that mm -hmm. whole barrel leg yep. is really really having um, a moment it's a very controversial denim it's a very controversial shape i personally absolutely love it yeah and it's the kind of jean that works on a lot of girls who are hippie mm -hmm. whether it's low slung or not whether you've got a heavier thigh whether you've got a heavier it doesn't really matter yeah it's for everybody it's really cool it's really fun don't spend a lot of money on it because it's trendy Trace, it, it could be gone next week. I don't right. know. We'll see. <laughs> and that's the thing about really super trendy pieces, right? They come and go. You might wear them yes. next year, maybe not. But... Maybe not. Thank you Thank so you. much, Jen. That's awesome. Beautiful look. It's just yes. so pretty. Okay, next up, let's see Peyton. Come on out, Peyton, and our next jean friend. Ooh, very cute. So she's very cute. She's very oh, cute. I'm a fan of head-to-toe denim. Um, and I specifically like this because you got some structure to it with the belted waist. Well, I think that we talk about head to toe all the time. Yeah. So I think that denim is a, a perfect material to do yes. that with. Yeah. So I love the idea of a safari jacket. Mm -hmm. A safari shirt jacket's even better. This one's got pockets. This one's got just this great little um, beautiful hemline yep. that curves. Mm -hmm. and. This is the gap, and the gap does good denim. Yes, it's they heavier. Do. It's fantastic. Yeah. You treat it like this. You treat it over. Oh, it's I don't, a whole. So now I did it over a little boiler That's suit. Cute. How fabulous! I could belt that, and again make it look like a little denim jacket and a pair of jeans. Yeah. Often what we'll do is that we'll say, um, I'm, I normally do maybe an overall. Yeah. But I think that this is great because it still shows a body off. Yeah, whereas it's a an little overall bit more could cover up hitting. a little bit more. Yeah. So this I think is really exciting. And then you know you can just do it with a casual, beautiful bag. So this little bag is from Winners. You can you know there's you, I think do the denim and then do something alternative as far as the accessory is concerned. A little twist. A little twist. Yeah, a little color. A, a little, little new texture. Very nice. Okay, thank you so much. That looks great on you. Okay, let's get our last model out, Catherine. Come on out and let's see this look. So dressed up denim. So why not dress, dress up, up denim? I like that it's a dark okay, denim it's too. fantastic. Yeah, so very nice. So you know that H&M does a beautiful jacket. So yes. I love this blouse because this is a bow blouse. I love the whole thing. This I love nice. it because it's got the most remarkable sleeve. Mm -hmm. I did one of the, my little flowers uh, so that it looks a little Chanel-y. Yeah. And then this is an old navy denim. Nice. Like inexpensive, but yeah. you can spend a lot of money or a little bit of money. If you want to look expensive, dark denim mm -hmm. or, you know, winter white for yes. denim dark. Right. And what's lovely about this is that it's slim through the thigh and then it starts to release above the knee. It's a beautiful cut. And then you sort of think to yourself, how long can I go that I can still wear a comfortable shoe? Yeah. Because the longer it is when you flare like this, yes. the longer your leg looks and the dressier you look. Right. And it's very modern and beautiful to do this. Uh -huh. And I think that we, uh, we've learned to be comfortable. Now we have to be comfortably elegant and smart. And I think that this is something fantastic. I like comfortably elegant. That's lovely. So, That's a nice right? thing to strive for. Yeah. Okay, come on in everybody. Let's see the denim um, right across the board, all in a line. So nice. All right. I feel like I feel like one of the models. <laughs> Let's go to break. More coming up. Coming up, Miles Sexton has some statement jewelry, including a custom surprise piece. She also made a piece for me that I haven't seen yet, Woo! so we're actually going to open it together. Okay. There are so many cool jewelry designers you might not be familiar with yet. 
We sent our expert, Miles Sexton, on a mission to highlight a small brand doing big things. Let's take a look. My name is Tara Mimarian. I'm the founder of Studio Mima, where I design polymer clay accessories and jewelries. Hello! <laughs> I get inspired by anything carpet, from modern design, yes. geometric patterns, and also the more, the more traditional ones are the ones that are grew up with back in Iran. That, that nostalgia of we always had carpets in our house. It's yes. always, it was part of us, it was in every room. There's like multiple patterns inside just this one whole big um, work of art. These are like the, the carpet designs. Yes. That's where you can like see that. Like, you know, this is the design that I do on my iPad and this is how it looks like in real life. This is kind of, again, inspired by a carpet. I thought it would be very heavy and it's not. So, wow. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't oh, really feel so like pretty. there's a lot on me. <laughs> I think it's such a beautiful thing being able to like pull in your culture a little bit into the jewelry that you create. So these are some of my favorite pieces. Yes. I really like the, the black and white, and also I, I like the red oh, back. Oh, it's like reversible almost. <laughs> that feeling of, I made it myself, is yeah. something that was always pushing me to create more. These ones I really like, it kind of looks like a fish. It's true, it has yeah. its own like life to it. <laughs> the beauty is when other people that are not from my culture wear it. Yes. And that for me is just, amazing they're just oh what is this I'm like I grew up with it yeah. <laughs> I like creating with polymer clay because it's a very versatile substance and it's very easy to work with sometimes it looks like wood sometimes it looks like metal sometimes you know it has almost this enamel texture to it it is not air dry so you can put it in the oven and it bakes until it hardens mm -hmm. Oh, like it's not what I would think that it would feel really? like. Yeah. This to me, it almost feels like a fruit roll up. Where this yeah. is definitely like, you know, it, it feels very like hard. That's why it's it's very easy to make jewelry with it, right? You yeah. can pretty much do anything you want. You know, see how like it's very kind of it breaks? Yes. So you have to condition it with the pasta machine. So cool. Oh, they look so good. They look good. Go with the stuff. That does it work with this look. <laughs> We were going back and forth about working on a piece together and yeah. you know I said like I really love the idea of like the shapes of like a moon cycle. This one I kind of like the color gradient. Yeah, the color gradient. This one was kind of like a kind of like alien inspired yeah. moon cycle. Totally. If aliens were going to design earrings, this is what I it's going to look like. So how do you want people to feel when they wear your jewelry? I want people to feel joy. The first sentence I write in my thank you notes is like, I hope you wear them with joy. I want people when, when they're wearing the jewelry to feel happiness and to remember that moment when they wore it. It's a very small piece that you can use to express yourself, yes. which, is, which is amazing. I love it. <laughs> I'm gobsmacked watching that. Miles Sexton, everyone. <laughs> what a fun assignment. Right? Oh. oh my god. I love to go to the studio. <laughs> you come in here we're always drooling over your jewelry yes. it made a lot of sense for you to be the one to go to Tara studio but Tara is actually here in yeah. our studio <laughs> so I am so in love with the process right the process so I was like oh my goodness she is making the jewelry while you are there which is so cool to see agreed so you've brought so many different brands yes. of statement jewelry uh, we're gonna start with Tara's yes and what I love about it is not just the way it looks, but as you said in the tape, it's light. It's so lightweight. So it's like, not dragging You have to your... feel it. Like, you would oh think that this would be goodness. so heavy, but it's not. Because of the polymer clay, it's so lightweight. So yeah. I love a statement earring. You know, I've always loved statement jewelry. It's something yes. I took from my mom, you know, when I got into fashion. And so I think what's so cool is that you have that amazing statement, but your ears aren't going to suffer the That's consequences right. of having this really cool piece. They're really nice and right? soft. And just because of the polymer clay, you really have these like endless possibilities of things that you can create with the shapes and the textures and the colors because you're really starting from scratch and you're building this beautiful piece of art with it. It's it's honestly such an inspiring and cool material to be able to like go behind the scenes and see how it's created. Well, when you see going from like concept to uh, to reality, yes. it's such an incredible thing to look at, you know, like a sketch drawing becoming that thing that you're wearing. So Agreed. really beautiful. Great work, Tara. Uh, I'm Thank so excited. You. Now, she also made a piece for me that I haven't seen yet. Woo! So we're actually going to open it together. Okay. It's like a custom mindset. Yeah, exactly. We were going back and forth on a topic. Oh, okay. oh my goodness, everyone. Oh. 
Oh, wow. wow. Here, let me get this. Oh, oh my so goodness. Cool. That is beautiful. Oh. I love it. And it's actually right up uh, oh Miles' God. alley. It like, is. this is I, what you would I wear to an event. Big statement. This is what you'd wear on a Monday. And they're not heavy. I'm so surprised. Exactly. <laughs> going to the grocery store, grocery you know, they're shopping, shop, so. going to the library, exactly. you know, oh. stuff like that. They're so good, oh my gosh. Miles. I'm obsessed. Well done, Tara. <laughs> well done. That's Studio Mima, yes. right? Yes. Studio Mima. Beautiful. Okay, we are gonna, we're going to, I just can't stop. Isn't okay, so cool? We're going to go on to your next jewelry designer. Yes. So this uh, is an, absolutely beautiful. Another Canadian woman-owned jewelry designer called Willamy. So it's an acronym. So it stands yeah. for wear it like you mean it. Ooh. And it's really cool. They, she works with a lot of like gemstones and crystals and all of the rings are really adjustable so that you can really customize them depending on your outfit if you want it on the, like, you know, what finger you want. I love that. It's so cool. And it's more of like an eco-conscious brand too. She's really Really like thinking about the materials that she's using and making sure that they're sustainable. Okay. I also love with all of her earrings too that oh they my have God, a I'm little. I'm having a moment. You know right? when you can't get the jewelry off. <laughs> <laughs> like your finger. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> It's just like, please come off. It's so cute. It's pretty, but I, that yeah. freaks me out. And she has a lot of closed clasps on the earrings, too, which I really oh, like nice. because, you know, as a statement earring wearer, my ears are a little bit stretched. So yes. having a, just a regular kind of hook, they tend to fall out as I'm wearing them throughout yes. the day. So I love that they do a closed clasp on those ones, too. Yeah, these are Such not our mother's pieces. sort of earrings that yes. really used to drag down. Because exactly. I wore all of my mom's <laughs> earrings, and they were she was a statement jewelry uh, woman as well, and they were heavy. Agreed. So it's nice. Agreed. They're light. They've got clasps. They'll stay in there. They're beautiful. Really beautiful pieces here. Okay, who do we have here? So this is Ever and Ivy, and this is more of like a kind of quiet luxury brand. Yes. But, you know, I think the big things like chains are so popular. People love wearing chains, but, you know, they come with a really big price tag. You know, they especially do. if you're doing like 14 karat gold. So what's cool with all of these ones is that they're a really high quality non-allergenic brass that's plated in like rhodium or 14 karat gold. Okay. So, and they're, it's a really thick plating, so like a lot of like kind of cheaper or fashion jewelry, like you'll notice the redness comes out in them. Yes. But with these ones, because it's such a thick plating of it, you're not going to experience that sort of like tarnishing happening of your piece. Not even if you're washing the dishes every no. day with it. Okay, exactly. Like you are not really. You know, I don't recommend it. Like, yes. But you know, <laughs> but it's like it's going to survive with you. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And again, these are sort of pieces that are like collectible pieces that you're going to pass down on. But something Beautiful. I do want to show is that the clasp on these ones are so cool because you can either wear it without the clasp if you just want to wear it as a regular necklace mm -hmm. or you can use the clasp as a, as a bit of a statement for it but what's nice. really cool is I can actually open them up and like connect it to yours as well if I want to like oh. layer or like create like another piece with it which is super super cool oh that's awesome so yeah. you can do like a multi-layer necklace exactly so then I could have like definitely two layers of the product as I go that's so, so cool. yeah I'll just show you how that looks there so they're clasped like together on the very other nice side. yeah so you can do your double layer necklaces or you wear it or as a bracelet love it Okay, beautiful, beautiful. And now we're moving into uh, pieces that are just, you know, so artistic. These are incredible. So this is another Canadian woman-owned business called yep. JY Gull. Now, something really unique about her pieces is that they all, most of them move. So they're kinetic. So as you wear it, the product is actually going to move and have a life of itself as you're wearing it throughout yes. the day. They're like literally this little piece of art. Even these ones here, like the circles will move back and forth. I remember the first time I met the designer at the CAFA Awards, I was so fixated on her earrings because they were just like moving around her head as I was talking to her. And I was like, okay, who made these earrings? And she's like, I made them. And, and I was also, like, I didn't hear a word you said. Exactly, because I was just fixated on I'm it. Because I'm looking at those earrings. It's so These cool. are the ones that I think are just, yes. I mean, really so caught my, my imagination because th this moves, but also it's the little piece of art on here exactly. that is so specific. Totally. This is an ancient Chinese embroidery that she's like brought from her culture into her jewelry as well, which is so cool. So she does like a few earrings that have different embroidered pieces on it. It's That's just beautiful. amazing. <laughs> like, what a statement. Right? Beautiful. Okay, gorgeous pieces. Uh, Miles, thank you so uh, much. And this needs to be added to the wardrobe agreed. immediately. <laughs> beautiful. Let's go to break. We've got more coming up. Stay with us. Wow. Coming up, am I ready to become a city line expert? So you know what? Not all shampoo and water works for every hair. That's true. right. Yes. You got to think about how porous is it. There like, you what go. is your What is your curl pattern? All Take it away, Tracy. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Perfect time.
time to spice up your beauty routine. So what is in and out this season? Here with the lowdown and some of the latest launches is Shobhana Lakavali. <laughs> hanging out with us, looking so cute. Thank you. Okay, so I love talking trends with you. Uh, let's start with hair. Let's do it. Let's do it. So what is out are two-in-one shampoo conditioners. Yes. I hate them. Yes. They should have been thrown out a decade ago. Why were they ever in? I guess right? we were trying to save time, but I don't think they got the work done. And we only focused on straight, hydrated, thick hair. Right. Right? But now, right. we have solutions for all different kinds of hair, including mm. like curly and coily. Yes. But we've learned that scalp, right, is also skin. Guess it's what? Right. Yes. So let's start treating it like that. That's right. So the healthier scalp is, the more healthier hair is going to be. Right. And so what's in is scalp care. There's a lot of products coming out for mm. you. And... Listen, every scalp has a different love language, you know? Yes, yes. that's right. I like how you look at it that way. <laughs> so so for, you've got these products here. Yeah, for textured hair, curly yeah. hair, if you're having hydration or like dry, you have a dry scalp, Shea mm -hmm. Moisture came out with this amazing line, which is called the Scalp Moisture Line. Beautiful. Um, and what's neat about it, Trace, is that there's a pre-wash. So if you okay. have dry, fragile hair, yeah. it's actually a conditioner you use before you shampoo to protect your hair from the shampoo, from the water. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't need to look at it. No, it's, like, <laughs> it's, it's a, a pre-shampoo little mask. So you put that in and it's going to help I, hydrate and protect your hair. Help hydrate Before and protect your hair. Before you shampoo and use water. Because you know what? Not all shampoo and water works for every hair. That's true. Right? Yes. you got to think about how porous is it. There like, you what go. Is your, what is your curl pattern? All Take of these it away, Tracy. Make a difference, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then this afterwards. This one I love. Yes. So many of us wash our hair maybe if within like a few days or a week, depending on, you know, how, how often you wash your hair, right? Yeah. And your hair scalp can get itchy. So this is the scalp cream, mm -hmm. the scalp moisture cream. It has all the good stuff we'd find in our skincare. And actually, it's very easy to use. Okay. All you have to do is just partition your hair whenever you need it. Yeah. Right? Go ahead and show them. Yeah, them exactly. The so whenever you need to, you just partition your hair. Yeah. You apply a little bit along the hairline. I actually can't see it, so I'm just going to pretend. No, you're doing it perfect, oh, perfect. actually. perfect. Yeah. And then again... Just yeah. keep going on, go all the way through, massage it in. It's a moisturizer. It's not yes. a leave-in conditioner. It's a moisturizer. Use it whenever you want. It's a beautiful thing. Who grew up with their mom oiling their scalp? Like, it's a, just a beautiful thing when that happens. Um, and it needs to be moisturized. It does. And now you're going to do it for your babies, Yeah, but they're really not sweet. finding it to be a beautiful thing. Oh, I know. Yeah. So, I know. It's, <laughs> yeah, it comes, you have to get comes. to a certain age, and this then it's true. like, oh, I kind of miss my mom doing that. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, next up, we're going to talk about skincare. Okay. okay, it's not just for the face. No, hello. So out, <laughs> face only, in body, our yes. largest organ. Honestly, yeah. body care is in. We're seeing all those really fantastic ingredients that we find in our face uh -huh. for the body, like AHAs and retinol, mm -hmm. right? We even have someone on our team that used to use face AHAs on their bum because they couldn't find <laughs> anything. Because it okay. makes a difference. So yes. a lot of new products. Think about your body. Serums are a big, big deal right now. This body is by, serum. Yeah, this is by Necessaire. Okay. Okay. It has hyaluronic acid in it. Oh, very nice. Yes, and if you're thinking to yourself, I don't even have my face routine down, yeah. how am I going to get my body routine down? Mm -hmm. I love these kind of discovery collections. This one is by Sephora, and it's their skincare body favorites. It's a skincare for body, for hydration. Nice. You get 10 products, $50. You get to see what you like, what you don't like, so you don't have to invest in things that you don't want. I use this. I felt so invigorated. Yeah. I don't want to put clothes on. Okay. Honestly, you're like, no, I'm no. too slick up like, exactly. and supple. And I look so good. I don't want any clothing on this. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I get so it. So think about your body. You don't need to put the face cream on your bum bum because there's literal bum bum cream. This okay? is amazing. Like it's the bum bum yes. cream. Yes. And it smells so good. It's a vacation in a bottle. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. Okay, coming up, let's talk about uh, makeup. Yeah, so listen, classics are always in, but they're going to take a back seat right now. Mm -hmm. It is about color. Color is in. Mm. We're heading into the spring. We need those dopamine hits. Yes. And color is for everybody. I am tired of people telling me that over 40, yes. you can't wear color. Stop I'm it. 40. No yeah. one's going to tell me what to do. That's okay. right. Not at 40, not at... Exactly. Mm -hmm. And color is amazing. And I do have a product that works really beautifully for everybody. This is by Milk Makeup. Okay. It is their cooling water jelly uh, skin tints. Okay. It's like a blush for your face. 
bright nice. blush is really, really in. It's very sheer, as you can see. It is very sheer. Right? So you look at the, the color, and it looks so pigmented, and you put it on, and, and it's, it's on very sheer. Yes, and it works on all skin tones. Nice. It's buildable. How good does it feel, like cooling? It is so soft yes, and cooling. Right? It's I wanted lovely. to wear it all over my face. I was so hot one day, and I was like, yes. can I? I'm like, no, I can't. Yes. I don't have a pink face. We actually have someone in the audience yes, trying it out do. as well. So this is how easy it is to apply. That's all you need. It's multi-use. It's a beautiful, big, chubby stick. It's gorgeous. So it's going to be easy to put on. Exactly. Put it on your lips. Put it on your cheeks. Put it wherever. I put it on my eyes. I actually put use it as a primer eyes. for my blush to make it really pop. Now that's On my hack. lips. Yeah, there you good. go. It's so multi-purpose. And Milk Makeup does such a good job at multi-purpose. Yeah, very nice. Okay, we're going to move on to brows because brows mm. have always been, you know, they're important. They're very important. Yes. And so remember those, like, bigger laminated brows that took a lot of work? Huge. We used soap to, like, stick them up, yes. drew in the lines, maximize the glue. real estate, glue. People were, yeah. Okay, so they're kind of taking a little bit of a seat right now. Okay. Right? And what is in? I need a drum roll for this, Tracy. Thin brows! Drum oh, I'm not drum rolling that. <laughs> we're backward style! What is going on? Oh, yes! yes! You know what? I have to say, I, I like 90s show now. <laughs> Like, I look at that and I don't think thin brow. I think, oh my gosh, what a great time. Oh, yes. It was but a good also, time. I still haven't been able to grow back my brows. Right? <laughs> yeah. My mom didn't take me to the esthetician because yes. she didn't want me to get into beauty. Right. And look at me now, mom. Look at you now. Look at me now. Look at you now. So thin brows yes. are back. So thin brows are Auntie Tracy says, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> so does Auntie Shobana, now. Okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> but you know an alternative? We're going for fluffy brows. So not the stiff, oh, like laminated. Yeah. Natural. Works for thin to thick. You're talking about density, though. Making it a little bit more fuller. Okay. So I'm going to go naked for you on television, You're gonna people. You're going to take it all off? <laughs> right. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking my brow off. And I okay. know it's a, not all of it, because we don't have time for all of it. Yeah, okay? just a little just bit. Just a little bit. And so rather than using a brow gel, I'm gonna actually use the Urban Decay Brow Bush. Okay. <laughs> and this actually is voluminous, yeah. and it has hair fibers in it. And okay. so rather than trying to stick your hair up, you're just going to fluff it up to the side. It really does a nice hold. Oh, you've got good yes. brow shows. Oh, it's been a lot of work. Yeah. And then this is my ride or die. I don't leave my house without it. So this is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. Yeah. I'm gonna just Create my brow uh, shape with the pencil. It doesn't take a lot of work. I'm just using little hair strokes, nice. like a kind of like a crayon. And then, guys, what's going to top it off? I never do my brows this quick, by the way, but it's okay yeah. for TV. <laughs> is the pen? The pen is going to change your life, okay? Because you put it in to your brows, uh -huh. and then you want to make sure your brow kind of is in line with the indent of your nostril. Perfect. This is going to give you the best brow. This is going to give you the best nose contour of your life. Yeah. And then you're just going to create like little hair-like strokes. That looks so natural. And then you have like a really beautiful, fluffy, natural That's looking so brow. Nice. Oh, oh, gorgeous. Oh my God, beautiful. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for that. Time for a break. We will see you all on the other side. Stay with us. It's really good. Coming up tips and tricks for petite frames. Petite sizing essentially is based off of your height. So this includes all body sizes, both big and small. Yeah. Um, and the threshold is typically five foot three and under. Welcome back. You may have seen our next guests all over your socials. Watch this. Meet Vanessa and Chelsea, two petite content creators helping women understand their proportions so they can start to have fun with fashion. Blue and brown were literally made for each other. Gold hardware. Look at that bow. Oh my god, she's so cute. What they may lack in stature, they make up for with major style. I'm going to share one of my favorites and how I like to style it. Tired of not seeing clothing content catered to their size, these on-trend mamas took matters into their own hands, sharing life with kids and lots of fab finds to inspire you on your own fashion journey. And they are joining us now. Please welcome Vanessa Giuliani and Chelsea Souza. Thank you. So good to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's all about, your platform is all about helping women that are petite, mm -hmm. women who are petite. So what does petite sizing mean? And give us a bit of a definition. 
Perfect. So petite sizing essentially is based off of your height. So this includes all body sizes, both big and small. Yeah. Um, and the threshold is typically five foot three and under. So five three and under. Yes, yes I am okay. five two. Vanessa is five one. Yeah. And typically the struggle when you're on social media, when you're on magaz or looking at magazines, when you're online is all of these models are so much taller. Yes. So it is so hard to really gauge what things are gonna look like for yourself. Right. And that's where we come in. That's exactly. right. Come in to help us. So you're gonna exactly. help us get the perfect fit so we can all look a little bit more polished if you yes. are in a petite body. So we're gonna start with pants and inseam, yes. something that I don't even, I still don't understand <laughs> inseams. So walk us through what we should okay. be looking for. So I'm so glad you asked about inseams because mm -hmm. once you can understand the inseam you are looking for, it's gonna make shopping effortless and easy. So. Get out your notebook, because we are going to denim school, okay? okay? So let's talk about what the inseam is. The inseam is from the bottom of the rise, uh -huh. right here to the hem. So if Chelsea, if you could put this up against yeah. you. So this one here is a 26 inch inseam. This is actually a regular denim. This particular brand does not come in petite, okay. and the regular hem length is far too long for me. It's around a 33 inch. So it okay. doesn't matter how high my heel is, it's not happening. Right. So this is their crop denim. That's a great hack. Oh, if the brand you okay. love does not have your inseam, go for their crop. So that's, that's why we crop. love this guy. Also, a 26 inch inseam is gonna hit you, for me, at 5'1", right around my ankle. Mm -hmm. So if you want something to wear with flats, with sneakers, go for a 25 to a 27 inch inseam. Okay, yeah. that's good to know. All right, so next up, we've got something you're gonna wanna maybe wear with a heel or something that's gonna skim the floor. So I love Aritzia because they yes. came out with short and shorter. Oh. So shorter is if you're five feet and under. Yes. And then short is five two and under. Excellent. Right? So the inseams are gonna work well if you are petite like us. Um, yes. And they've got that really great size range and it's a full size run as well. Very nice. So yeah. rise counts as well. The other thing I want to say yep. about inseams is that men Likewise. have had this plethora of inseams from the start. Right. We're just catching up. Yeah. It is. You like, have to find it. Inseams are for everyone. And you've got to search for it. And it's in the search. size and description. So right. it's not going to be right there in front of you. you got to go you searching gotta go for, look it. for it. But once you find it, it's going to make shopping so much easier. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, now let's talk about rise. Yes. So as you see today, Vanessa and I are both wearing high-waisted pants. Yes. And so these high-waisted denim are really going to elongate yeah. your legs, mm -hmm. especially when you're going with something with a little bit more of a kitten heel. Yeah. Um, and this is a 29-inch inseam, okay. for example. Yeah. Yeah. So if I were to wear these pants with a sneaker, they would be grazing the floor a little right. bit. So we would want to look for something around the 27 to 28-inch inseam. Fair. Yes. So okay. again, a long elongate your body, yes. higher waisted denim. Yes, and that's Perfect. a rule almost everyone can yes. follow, but especially if you're petite Absolutely. and you feel like you want your legs to look exactly. longer, exactly. go for a higher waist, and yes. yours are high as so well. So these are the dynamite. This comes in the short length, and it's nice. a 31 inch inseam. So if you're shorter on the shorter end like myself, I like yeah. looking for a 29 to a 31 inch inseam if I want to mm. wear with a heel. Perfect. Yeah. And not, neither of these were tailored. No, no nothing. You didn't get them tailored. You didn't get them hemmed. No, no. You didn't this change is going to save you a trip to them. the tailor and a lot of returns. Um, I want to talk about just the silhouette of that denim. Yes. <gasps> so what is that called? This. Is it barrel? Is it balloon? This is the barrel denim. Right. They are fabulous. Yes. And controversial. Controversial. Yes. Sorry, you hate Spence them. Mentioned yes. them at the beginning yeah, of the show. Yeah, but I think they're fabulous. So they're super hot right now. Yeah. And um, I love them. I love yeah. the silhouette. So yes. Um, but she was saying it is a trendy piece. Yeah, it is. Maybe you don't. But you don't break the bank on right. that, exactly. but yeah. enjoy exactly. them while yeah. they're here, exactly. right? Exactly, and just so make good. sure your top is a little bit more tailored. You're gonna want yes. to tuck in your shirt, yes. so it's not too voluptuous yeah. on top, yeah. and you know, your eyes are really going down towards the denim. Totally, no, I love them, love them. Okay, let's talk, uh, let's talk shirts. Let's talk shirts, yeah. okay. So we have a few tips for you when you're wearing just your standard poplin shirt that's really gonna help you look a bit more balanced and proportionate. So first thing you're gonna do, unbutton these top two buttons and you're gonna wanna make it into a V-neck. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna zhuzh this sleeve. When we say zhuzh, we mean just like roll it up, cinch it up a little bit. Yep. And lastly, you're gonna tuck in the side that's closest to your body, that's this side over here. You always want this side tucked in, not the side that has the button hole, the side with the buttons. Yes. You're gonna tuck that in, and what that's gonna do is the eye is gonna go to the top of that hemline now. Yes. So it's gonna see here, so it's gonna make your leg look a lot longer than when you've got the whole thing untucked. Your eye, or essentially your legs look a lot shorter. Very nice. Yeah. Yes. You know, I should have mentioned this with the denim, because there are so many people that are gonna be shopping right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we put a QR code up on the screen. Yep. You'll see awesome. it pop up from time to time. 
time. Beautiful. We will send you the link so that you can buy Perfect. these pieces, especially, especially if you're petite and you've been having a hard time. So we got you. thank you for giving us the Absolutely. names and the retailers we and all of that it. stuff. Yeah. That Scan that QR code on your screen. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so that was shirts. Yep. Uh, let's talk neckline. Yes. Yeah. So as you're going to see here with Vanessa, she is wearing a V-neck top. This is just going to elongate your neck, show yeah. a little bit of skin. Mm -hmm. You want to be exposed. Mm -hmm. And same with me. I'm wearing, because I, I've got the barrel denim, I've got the blazer, we yes. want to show yes. a little bit of neck. It is elongating your body. Mm -hmm. right. um, another great one is the off the shoulder. Just show off yes. those sexy shoulders, yeah, especially if you're going with a wide leg high rise denim. Right. Um, another thing we love is to wear fun belts. Mm -hmm. So these, you can find so many affordable options. We typically grab ours off of Amazon, but the fun thing with the belts is it just breaks up your outfit, adds some proportion, and just a little bit of fun. Nice. Yeah, to an outfit, right? Yeah, and right. I especially like it's it on a high waist. It yeah. looks so good. Yeah. So cheap. Okay, jackets, jackets, jackets. Yes. Let's okay. talk jackets. So we all know and love our standard long trench. Yes. But have you seen a cropped trench? What because is happening? Right? That is this so is good. This is going to pack the same style punch as your long trench. Yeah. But it's not going to overwhelm you. That's so when so you're wearing good. it with your sneaker, it still looks fabulous Fab, yeah. and it's not going right down to the floor. We love this one. The other thing to look out for, cropped blazers. Yes. That's what Chelsea's doing today. And just imagine if she had a, I do have a long blazer here, a long blazer on. Yeah. Instantly your eye goes to the bottom of the blazer to the bottom of the pant. Yeah. Right now her leg looks so much longer because she's got that cropped blazer on. I love that. Yeah. And you know what? You're not going to have a hard time at all finding any of the crop styles out there. No, Everything has been so cut trendy. off here in yes, the store. Yes, exactly. Actually, so, that's a great tip. Right? Because we can wear crop tops and they actually work for us yeah, as a regular right? shirt. <laughs> you're not seeing my belly button. Yeah, you're not seeing my belly button you in the crop You know, we top. have our own um, sort of petite example in the studio every day. Cammie, come on in here. Yeah. She does it right. Yeah. She does it right. Yeah. What do we think of these proportions, my right? Yeah. She's doing it right. You know how Fabulous. to work it, girl. You know it's how to work perfect. it. She's yes. figured out what works for her, <laughs> and it's uh, fantastic always. Thank you. Thank you for the lesson. Thank you, Vanessa Thank and Chelsea. Very nice. Thank you. So we have a little surprise for everyone in the audience. I don't know. Do you, do you want to just stay here, or are, are they going to be in trouble if you're with if me? Not. She's our audience coordinator. Amazon is giving you all a $50 gift card. <laughs> You can embrace your most stylish self no matter your height. Thank you. Let's go to break. More coming up. Coming up, hair care for anywhere, no matter the weather or climate. Thank you in advance for saving our hair. We appreciate you. Anytime. hot topic keeping your hair fabulous in any climate from humidity heroes to cold climate care here with the products you need to pack now is Sarah Amson <laughs> hairstylist extraordinaire <laughs> thank you in advance for saving our hair we appreciate you anytime you're gonna show us how to protect our locks it doesn't matter what the weather is we all would like to start traveling uh, like immediately so let's start with the humidity of the Bahamas just imagine the Bahamas, oh, everyone. I'm there right now in my mind. Right? Yes. There's a cocktail in my hand. Ooh. The breeze is blowing. Oh. My hair is growing at a fast rate because of the humidity. Oh. <laughs> right? Oh. <laughs> help! Let me help you right there. Okay. So when that humidity hits, like you said, our hair just gets frizzy and starts to grow and yes. expand throughout the day. So these are a couple uh, products I like to keep in my back pocket mm -hmm. to sort of combat that chaos. Okay. Now, if you are a light packer and there's only one product you're going to bring, yeah. make it Color Fanatic by Pureology. Okay. This is a multifunctional product. So it is an amazing detangler. It is a weightless leave-in conditioner, mm. and it will protect your hair from heat and UV rays. Amazing. So it comes in this great little travel size. I like to toss it in my bag and yeah. spray it in my hair throughout the day to keep it nourished and protected. So you put that on, then you go swimming. You can put it on when you come out, right? That's right. It's yes. going to do all the things. And what is the other product doing? 
So I always like to take a hair mask with me. Okay. And this one I'm a huge fan of. It's called Superfood Treatment by Purology. Okay. And this will moisturize. It's an intense hydrator. Mm. And it'll also reverse the damage from sun, salt, and chlorine. Ooh. And this is actually a double duty product for me. So okay. my go-to evening look on vacation is a sleek bun. Yeah. Like a Sade sort of look. Yes. So instead of having to pack a cream or a hair gel, I like to work this through my hair and I'll use that to hold my bun in. That's smart. So I'm getting mask, I've got my cocktail, yes. I'm living life. That's a good vacation look though. Like oh, you've yeah. been swimming all day, slick it back. And you're gonna Just jump look in it the back. pool the next day. That's so right. why blow dry? Why blow dry? That's it doesn't it. make any sense. Okay, the Bahamas was fun. Loved it. Loved it. <laughs> next, you know what? We're gonna go out west. I wanna see Lake Louise in Alberta. It is a stunning, stunning spot but it is dry and it can yes. be cold depending on what time of year you go. Right, so you're out all day at Lake Louise mm -hmm. taking in the sights, you're all bundled up because I'm gonna assume it's winter. Yeah, sure. Um, right? Yeah, because it's cold. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're gonna say that it's cold. And it's time to go out for a lovely dinner. You mm -hmm. take off your hat and you got hat hair. Yeah. Your ends are a little crispy, your hair's a little flat, so yes. how do we take care of that? So for our curly friends, I've got Curl Manifesto Absolute by Kerastase. Now this is amazing. This is a curl revitalizer that will restore your hair's natural curl pattern. Nice. So it adds the hydration, it adds the shine, spray yep. it throughout, scrunch, give it a little shake and you're good to go. Okay, beautiful. So you don't have this hair. That's correct. Right? Because yeah. you take off the hat and your hair is still up there. So we just want to calm That's it down right. a little bit. Um, great for curls. What happens, what are these products doing? So, like you said, I don't love to look like I've been electrocuted, so <laughs> I want to mitigate the static. Yeah. So, for this product here, um, it's called Impermeable by Orbe, and okay. it's an anti-humidity spray, but it actually works really great as a hair static spray. Okay. Spray throughout your dry hair yeah. or on the inside of your toque. Smart. Yeah, so when you take it off, your hair sits smooth. Yes. Don't you love those new to toques that have the silk lining or the satin love. lining on the inside? Yes. What a saver, uh, a lifesaver for your hair, but these are great. Mm -hmm. And this is a little travel size. A little travel size. Very nice. Throw it in your bag. I need stuff like that because I'm not a light traveler. Oh, no. So it's like whenever I can get the small version, I need it. <laughs> okay, next up, we are going to get in the plane again, and we are going to go to Las Vegas, which I love. <laughs> uh, but it is going to be dry and it is going to be hot, which yes. I love, but I don't know if my hair does. I love that too. The only problem is that our hair still gets a little greasy, a little sweaty, yeah. and our roots get really crispy and dry. Right. So to solve those problems, at your root, you're going to spray Dry Texture by Orbe. Okay. This is a invisible leave-in sort of dry texture spray that builds volume okay. and removes dirt and oil from your scalp. And then mm. for your ends, you're going to put on this incredible hair oil by Kerastase. Yeah. If you're going to invest in a hair oil, a high quality hair oil, this is the one. It is amazing. It smooths, it shines, it has heat protection. She does it all and she's fabulous. She, I would take her on any one of these vacations. She is so beautiful. Right? Yeah, like I just love the packaging and everything. Gorgeous. Okay, so now our hair is ready for any climate. We just need to update our passport. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get ready to do that. <laughs> if you are traveling and you need to get your hands uh, or your hair on any of these products, scan that QR code you see on the screen right now and you can shop any of these products online. Sarah, thank you for that. We'll be right back. Stay with us, everyone. Thank you to all of our incredible experts that were on the show today. We got tips, tips, tips. Thank you to all of our viewers at home that watch the show. Thank you to our lovely audience. Have a great weekend, everyone. See you Monday.